talking like the time she moved to New York. That was like the July '78, right? On the cusp of Saturday Night Fever from John Travolta. I remember that. Very, very, very big movie. She came around this time, and that was gonna go down. Well, Madonna learned how to play drums, and she also learned at this time to play guitar. So she was kind of honing her skills in in the music world through this boyfriend she had, Dan Gilroy. to learn how to write songs. That's how determined she was. Super interesting. She started finding another skill set, singing. And as I said, she has a chance to perform with Patrick Landa. Through all of that, she formed a band called Emmy. challenges where she was living back and forth she was commuting all over the place but what got her through that was most likely her faith in herself in her God and her just overall perseverance for life it is said that she used to go to the club, the Anceteria, every, every day with that demo, her first song called Everybody, every day, just because she wanted them to play the DJ, the demo. She eventually got a record producer, Mark Cannons. To get involved and help to produce the record. He had a connection to Sire Records. And while Seymour Stein, the founder of Seymour's of, of Sire Records, excuse me, just had an operation, right? She went in. The guy just finished an operation and wanted to meet her. So he gave her a deal right there when he met her. He was amazed by her tenacity, her charisma, and what he heard on the demo, and went for it. The rest we can say is history, right? But it worked out. She created all these relationships and got to the point of where she can be the super achiever in the music business. She achieved all of that. So a lot of people always criticize Madonna for her relationships and how she got with this one and that one. And I and I contributed to this. She said it herself. I mean, somehow there are people who helped you along the way and sometimes they're not going with you. So you have to leave them behind, you know? Some people make it sound like she was some kind of functional nympho. I hate that because I know that lady worked hard. It's not easy to to become someone in this entertainment industry. Trust me, I can tell you that. So, yeah, how my path crossed with Madonna is my group was dancing on Long Island. And we won a dance contest for a local radio station in New York, a very famous one, I won't mention the name. And she had the song out in 83 called Holiday from her first album. And she was performing in this club on Long Island where we won the contest and we had a chance to open up for her. We never got to meet her, 
But what was great about that was that I saw her in the initial stages before she really, really exploded. And that was a joy to see. And since then, I was a, I was a supporter of this young lady who I never knew about, really. In fact, the first song I heard from her that I remember is Physical Attraction from that, the early records, you know. And a DJ friend of mine introduced me to that. I always thought she was a black singer, but she was not. You know, my, my ears were not so in tune with who sounded like what. So it was uh, interesting to see that she was a white female singer from Detroit that had these skills to bring over dance music the way how she did, you know. And it's not that she has like the, like a great voice. It has nothing to do with being a great voice. What I hear in her voice is determination to be great. And she sounds wonderful in pop music. In, in these songs that she writes, you know? And um, she even describes herself as a performance artist. You know, I think she's very empowering for women, you know? And yeah, and since I I really wanted to share that with my listeners on this Pod Opinion cast, because she's not somebody who does not include people. She has showed always inclusion in her work, with the people who she chose to work with, everyone, gays, blacks, whites, everyone. She does more than what I see they try to do in the political environment. Sorry, it's true. You know, she 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 was woke culture before everybody was woke. Straight up. And this is why I'm highlighting this. Don't forget to subscribe when you're on the YouTube channel. Thank you.